Welcome back to Thursday Night Football Preview. We've got another scorcher on deck with the New York Giants traveling to Cleveland, Ohio to take on current playoff team led by the GOAT, Joe Flacco. Cleveland Browns are currently seven-point favorites. 34 and a half point over under. They're expecting fireworks in this game out here in Ohio. <laughs> the weather for your flight will be clear in the 40s. Mm-hmm. No weather concerns, unfortunately. I'm waiting for that big blizzard to hit. It looks like it's this, over. this is our last <laughs> Thursday Night Football preview. <laughs> we have, every fucking day was 40 and clear, 50 and clear. What is this shit? We haven't had a single snow game. Fake weather. Fake football season. Mm. Key injuries in this one. There are really no injuries that... I think we're sustained last week. Like we've, I, I mean, there are injuries on both sides of the ball, but these are ones that have already, you know, taken place throughout the year. Cleveland's banged up on the old line. New York, they lost their quarterback this year. Clear rosters, clear rosters, clear, clear hearts, weather, clear weather. Should be a clean game. Should be just clear, clear all around. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about the storylines, Jamo. What are you most excited about for this game? And don't read off of my list. <laughs> Don't take credit for the work that I I'm, did. I'm excited for Garrett Wilson to continue to lead the NFL in targets. Wild stat. Gross. How like many does la- he have? 153, <sighs> 152, <sighs> something. Say it again. 150. <laughs> Buck 50. Last year he had 143, and we were both like, that's a lot. Even with Rodgers coming in, you're probably not topping that. Just the efficiency will go up. Garrett said, nah. So, no. Nah. Do you think? Okay. Even though that's worth nothing. 150 with Rodgers is going to be some good production. Mm-hmm. One question, though, I do have is while the Jets' defense is good, I was looking back over the last, I don't know, six games or whatever, I think they've allowed 30 points in like four out of the last six games. So if they're not getting their asses whooped, which they probably won't be if Aaron Rodgers is under center, I do wonder if the pass volume goes down. I do wonder if it's like mm. rather than Garrett Wilson leading the NFL in targets, if it's like Brees Hall leads the NFL in touches kind of thing. Second year ACL. I think that's a discussion to be had. I think these are the things that we're bringing to the forefront of the future. We don't need AI. We've yeah. got <laughs> All, uh, I, Nick I. I don't think it was ever like a volume thing. It was more so just like efficiency. And like if, if next year he still goes to even like 120 targets, which is a pretty big drop saying he's at 115, two more games to go, still going to cook. Yeah. Still worth the first round draft pick. Happy for you. Well, you're excited about Garrett Wilson. I'm excited about Joe Flacco. Mm -hmm. Possible MVP. Could be you. Could be him. Four games. Comeback player of the year. I don't know about all that. But but I will say, he's averaging 327 passing yards in his four starts. He's had multiple touchdowns in all four of his games. You see a stretch, like if he was on 17 games. What was it, like 5,500 yards? Broke the passing record, 43 passing touchdowns, 30 picks. Yeah, definitely would have happened. Seamus Winston. Yeah. Well, last two games, five interceptions. (laughs) That will eventually catch up to him in the playoffs, you know, when they start playing really good teams. They play the Jets, who have allowed the single fewest fantasy points to both quarterbacks and wide receivers. Another storyline is Amari Cooper coming off of a Josh Gordon-like game where he set the record for the Browns receiving Mm -hmm. yards in a game, he had like 265 or whatever, had him on a team. Is it, well, has he had a career high on the season because of that? He's had probably like 1,200-something now. That's a good question. I feel like he's I'm always sure. been like a solid 1,000, but I don't know if he's ever hit that. Um, I'm not sure. He's got to be there. If yeah. not, I'll probably set it this this week or next week. But very tough matchup, obviously, against uh, Sauce. I'm, I'm, I'm going to imagine they're going to zone in on him because there's not much to take away in this offense besides him. And a Joku. Yeah, I mean his line for the game is like already at like fifty six, which is not. There's special. no, there's no wide receiver. Yeah, that puts up two sixty. The the two sixty is a number that you get with like Tyree Kills, Devontae Adams mm. is fucking Julio Jones is. Though their lines are eighty five, ninety five, things like that. So Amari Cooper down at fifty six, fifty nine, whatever, kind of tells you what they're expecting from him. So they're in for a tough matchup. Do you think this is like the first full flop game for Flacco? Yeah. Full flop Flacco. I'm pretty in on that. Really? Like, if we want to jump to, like, which way I'm leaning with the spread and stuff. I'm just talking storylines. We just talking. We just talk. We just yapping. Then, yes. I think it's almost like there's so much hype because, A, he's been great, and B, it's like, oh, Flacco revenge. It's like, ooh. Everything tumbles. It's just imagine much. the Jets had Flacco. Uh, why? Because they could have been goaded. <laughs> could have. If you were told before the year, Browns, Jets, Thursday Night Football is going to be Joe Flacco versus Trevor Simeon, you'd probably think, like, oh, Flacco must have returned. 
the brown side, Simeon, G- Flacco yeah. goes to the Jets. <laughs> so, no. Yeah, these two are just perennially just like <laughs> fucking flip flopping uh, around yeah. teams. Uh, so, I mean, you can attack the Jets by way of the ground. Seventh most fantasy points allowed to the running back position. On the flip side, Brees Hall is obviously coming off of a massive, massive day, 190-ish yards from scrimmage, multiple touchdowns. He hasn't really given that type of performance week in and week out. We know he's capable of it any given week, but I don't know. It doesn't necessarily make me feel any better. I mean, it's the Washington Commanders. They're like yeah. the most putrid defense if, in the history of the world. If you somehow made it to week 16, like if you stashed Brees Hall in the earlier in the year and you made it to the semifinals, like this was everything you were hoping for to happen, and it did happen. Yeah. Good chance he might have cost you from ever getting there, but if you have a flex patience, you have a flex play. I'm assuming who are you starting, Hall or Cooper? Probably Brees. Yeah, half PPR too, for sure. And that that's not like me being low on Cooper. Like I probably think I have him like as a top 16 receiver this week or something. Stupid. You. Top 16 after a 260 yard game. So, Hot take. So, someone's got to be in on him. Uh, yeah, I mean, here's both of these defenses are great. Uh, I'm looking at just, like, the points allowed to both positions. Cleveland is bottom 10 in fantasy points allowed to every position. Fourth fewest to quarterbacks, ninth fewest to running backs, second fewest to wide receivers, second fewest to tight ends. There's just really no winning on that side of the ball. They've had games where they've randomly just, like, let up big point totals, and you're like, what the fuck happened? Because everyone's like, yeah. oh, they're generational, like, generational, and they have a let-up game. And the like, Rams is an exception because the Rams, when they're on, they're on. But, like, early in the season, it was like, Went to, like, 38-39 with, like, Gardner Minshew and the Colts. Like, what the hell? Like, I took yeah. Brown's defense that week in our slips. Well, and I'm like, Well, that's what happened. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. All, All right. right. Smooth to fantasy. So, do I have Flacco a little high at QB 16, given how good the Jets are? No. I'm, like, in on Flacco. Okay. I'm okay. I'm, like, Jets defense, Flacco. Okay. You know what I mean? He, he at might this point, at, I'm just riding the high. I'm, like, I'm, I'm, I, that's I, I don't want to overthink it. He might be at 15 because I think – I made this before Russ. The Russ news came out that he's benched. So Flacco's top fifteen fantasy QB. You did it again. Who said you done no. did it again? Uh, Simeon, I don't want had any like super flex, triple flex, yeah, whatever you're we in. We don't have to talk about okay. that. We ain't got to yap about Trevor. Reese RB seventeen. It is that ranking alone sounds. Pr- this looks low. Like I, I, w- I, I would, don't want to double check, but I would go higher. I would go. I would rank him better. Yeah. I kind of want to make sure that's accurate, but I feel like it is. I, I think something that we spoke about a little bit earlier, with like Trevor Simeon at quarterback, I do think backup QBs just in general have a tendency to dump the ball off probably to, to mm-hmm. running backs a little bit more. So we could see a big target game out of Brees, which I think kind of pads his floor a little bit. RB16, so yeah. I have in front of him Swift, Taylor, Henry. Should, should he probably be over Henry? Who are Titans playing? Houston? Again, that's where he looked. He struggled, yeah. But I, <laughs> I don't think that, I don't. I don't think that's like predictive of how he'll play again. No, I, th- I. I think that's probably the right tier. I think ultimately I might put him above. Who does Philly play this week? Arizona. Okay, never mind. Uh, the, I almost didn't because like that rushing touchdown he cashed in as one. Right. Like, I was gonna tough. say like, oh, he'll get a lot of work, but like it could just <laughs> he be. Cashed it he in can already. go like twenty four for one hundred twenty five yards and it's twelve points. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it might not even <laughs> but really matter. Arizona at this point is the worst run defense. It's not just like oh one of it's like Yeah, no, they're the, terrible. Um yeah, I th- I think it's the right tier. I, I'm not sure which way I, I would necessarily lean. I, I, I don't guess, think there's a super right or wrong. I guess I still there. I see him that should be sixteen. I see him as either RB twelve or sixteen. That's just he just happened to fall to the back of the list. In that tier, you're 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 a little low on Ford. I kind of like Ford a little bit. I'm not a I've, I've, maybe it's deal or no deal that's tainting me, but yeah, I'm not <laughs> in on him. Yeah, ECR has got him two spots higher at twenty nine. Regardless, I I don't see him anything more than a flex play. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a similar I, thing. I like feel like relatively good about him as a flex play though, because I do think that Cleveland's going to ha- have to attack them on the ground, and Ford's been explosive. He has games where he catches balls. He has games where he's involved on the goal line. So, like, if there is a running back from that side, I, I do like Ford a lot more than Kareem Hunt. And I don't – I Hunt's kind of – I mean, it was never much, but he's – Yeah, I would declining. never start him. But I, I would be – I actually think that the the championship that I have uh, in the Echo League, Ford, I think, is my flex play. Because I have Waddle. I have, like, Christian Watson. I have a bunch of fucking oh, scrubs yeah, like that. It. So, it's like – I don't really have a choice, but I'm, I don't feel terrible about it. It's kind of a banged up – week for receivers there's a couple out there just dealing with jamar's in that mix so ford yeah if you want him in the flex but i I really think i've just tainted against him he's not making my list uh cooper 14 i was higher than anyone i said earlier in the video is that too high like this is where i find the fine line of like in my mind i'm like fringe wide receiver one 
But then I like look at the the odds of them of what Vegas has. I'm like, damn, they projected them to have about 57 yards this game. I think that makes sense. I think the match That's was tough, and I it's just like myself. It, 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 it's like, how can you be the Jets defense defensive coordinator and then look at last game and be like, Cooper's our exactly our fucking number one focus, you know? So I get. I, I could see him having a little bit of a fall off game and maybe I would lean more towards like the 16, 17, 18 ish spot in the rankings, even though it's likely the same tier. Would you put him over? I don't even know if I think they're right next to other. Would you put him over digs? doesn't matter. You're playing both, but who's buff play New England. <laughs> no, I would play digs. Yeah. I got digs at 13. Diggs is so annoying. Dude. She's like legitimately been terrible for like, fantasy, but I'll have the one game and you can't sit him. No. Well, that's the thing. He's it's now or now. Like we're in the last one. Yeah. And but he's one of those players like, okay, when you ask yourself, it's like, who would I be okay sitting and him blowing up? It's like yeah, I'm exactly. gonna sit digs and have him go for 10, exactly. 150 and two touchdowns. And this week I'm gonna talk about him in the rankings video that I'll make in a few days, and I'm just like I'm talking to no one because anyone that's been starting on is probably not in the championship. Yeah. Garrett Wilson, wide receiver twenty six, Mr. Targets leader. More oh. I didn't really want to throw him in there because you're not gonna play him, but with, I think, the focus being so heavy on Cooper, it's like, if you down bad, down bad. Yeah, that's the only argument really to be made, but I almost feel like that every time I try to make that argument, it never... Yeah, it, that's just it, it makes sense on paper, defenses. but it never actually mm-hmm. it never actually like works. I do think Njoku can have a good game, though. Yeah. I mean, he's been fucking killing it with Joe Flacco. There's really no argument against him. Above him, I only got, like, Kittle, McBride, Laporte, like, those... He probably actually is another spot up. I think for some reason Hawk might be in the rank. Yeah, he's tight in six. He's he just can't be stopped. You might want to take Hawk out. Yeah, he's, yeah. He's got like a torn ACL or might something. Need, like might that, need to so, update that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Unless Josh Oliver slips in. Yeah, I, I like Njoku. I do think he's one that if like Flacco moves away from Cooper, the the Elijah Moore narrative of like oh he moves away from Cooper, he gets a lot of focus, like he'll go to Moore. Like we haven't really seen that at all. No, you know what I mean. Like, <laughs> no. It was like cute the first game because we were like There's Flacco and Moore has yeah. the projection from when they played on the Jets, and it's yeah. been nothing. But he's been consistently peppering <laughs> Njoku every single fucking week. Yeah, um, Conklin, whatever. Yeah, fuck if him. you're down bad, it's just K Dot and down bad. Don't a different name. I do have one slip. I one pick I found, but it contradicts a lot of what we just said. It's David Njoku under fifty and a half receiving yards. That's high. Is pretty high. Yeah. Like, the, for him to be within six, seven yards of Amari, the Jets only allow th- an average of 32 yards to tight ends, to starting tight ends. Only three starting tight ends have gotten this against the Jets. That's, that cash is 81% Do you know of who the they time. Were? Just curious. Kelsey, Pitts, 100 bucks if you could guess the third one. Uh, Just like a nobody big play. I don't know. Oh, I don't, I don't know the schedule that well, but I'm going to go because it's, I'll, I'll go with an AFC North. I'm not going to say Pat. I'm not going to say likely or Andrews. I'll say Tanner Hudson. No, Farrell Brown. That's my next guess. I know. Damn. That's why it was a one time. Wait, is Farrell Brown on the Patriots? Yeah. I was actually going to go with Hunter Henry. That was going to be my first guess. Then you said big play, and I was like, he, ain't, he can't do all that. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, Farrell Brown's like low key wide receiver, too. He's just. So, yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's not enough for me. You know what I'm taking? I like Cleveland in this game. Like, I do think they're going to put up a decent amount of points. I don't know if they'll have success scoring the ball. So, I'm going to take. Riley Patterson, their kicker, over one and a half field goals made. Are you looking at the he's right not kicker? The, he's not the Lions kicker anymore. He's not? Who's the Lions kicker? Who cares? We ain't talking about the Lions right now. Dude, I mean, Dustin Hopkins like just tore his hammy or something. So you're taking a walk-on kicker? Yeah. He's motivated. Is he not? Why is he not on the Lions? I think he got cut like a few weeks ago. What the hell? I think the Lions are like right below it. So I'm going to see if they got someone up there. Oh, it's Michael Badgley. I'm an idiot. Yeah. He's stupid. I don't know if it was a few weeks. He might have been the kicker all season, for all I know. I go up until yesterday. Riley Patterson just got signed <laughs> today. Either way, I'm taking him, and I'm taking him to the f- moon. I'm taking him to the moon. And remember. Thoughts on. Go ahead. And remember, before JMO so rudely came in here and interrupted my ass, if you're new to underdog, they'll give you a free square. You don't have to worry about what team Riley Patterson is on. Because they've got Joe Flacco as .5 passing yards on the app, okay? If you get onto the app and you use code BDGE, once you sign up, once you apply, once you register, you're going to see that free square. Just click it, hit the higher, hit the lower, whatever you want to do, however spicy you want to get with it, and you're going to be a winner. They'll also double whatever you put down. So you use code BDG, first-time depositor, they're going to double it. Then you hit Patterstein, then you hit 
the lower on David and Joku, and we're rolling. We won some of that money back that you spent on Christmas. What else? Trevor Simeon, point huh? five passing touchdowns. Yeah, that's going to be a no for me, dog. <laughs> that's going to be a void. Fair enough. Fair old brown enough. The spread them cheeks is next. All right, let's spread them cheeks, J-Mo. We're going to spread them cheeks. Which hole are you hitting? Jets plus seven. Damn. You ain't even, you ain't even going you ain't even gonna talk about it. Flacco's crumbling. You got Jets plus seven? That's a lot. On a floppy. It is. For a 34 and a half point total? It's way too many points for a total that big. I will say, though, I don't know. I feel like Browns at home. I kind of like them. Jets, Fair. if they were in MetLife, would like them a lot more. I think I understand why the spread is the way it is. Flacco's rolling. The team's rolling. The Jets almost just lost to the Commandos. That was bad. That was so bad. That team was going to – like, they're already not in a good spot. But like, I just feel like locker room-wise, they're, they're barely hanging That's on. That's what I mean. The Browns are the opposite of that. Yeah. They got that spot. But seven is too much. If it was six and a half, I would probably take the Browns. But I think the seven makes me mm-hmm. makes me push onto the Jets. I might sprinkle Jets money line. I'm going to go Jets plus seven under. Yeah. I would go under as well. Wait. Oh, so you are taking the Jets plus seven. Yeah. All right. I th- I think they could win this. I think, like you said, throwing two interceptions a game is going to catch up. As yeah. much as I like Flacco. It's just like Trevor Simeon's not scoring on the Browns defense, though, I don't think. Yeah, probably not. Because Washington, they're lo- really going polar opposite right now, aren't they? Washington could not be a more favorable matchup to just. I mean, they did put 30 up on him. That's what you're supposed to do. You want to talk about Sam Howell. You want to talk about Jacoby Brissett. You want to talk about Sam Howell. That dude is like. Oh, I should have traded his ass in Dynasty. Seven weeks ago, it was like, I know he's not great, but he's good enough to where they can invest in him, build around him young assets. I think that was just like that narrative jumped the gun because Ron Rivera kept saying it because he was like, that was his only chance of saving his job. He was True. like, he was like, you're getting rid of me, but like, I just found the quarterback of the future. Mm-hmm. So he just kept repeating it over and over again. Good move by Ron. Honestly. Now he's now, now he's like, Jacoby. Way, way to attach yourself to Sam Howell, <laughs> idiot. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he kind of did that with the Carson Wentz. He's he like, does it with everyone because he sucks at everything. Yeah. Fuck Ron. Fuck Ron. Facts. Cam Newton could have won triple MVP without him. He's got two Coach of the Year awards, not one, two. You serious? I think. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I feel con- I would bet on that. Double check. Yeah. <laughs> bet on it. What are we betting? <laughs> what are we betting? A point in Sunday Slip <laughs> that he has three? He won an award in 2022. The George Hallis Award. Just look up Coach of the Year over the years. Yeah, he won it twice. Guess what his career head coaching record is? Ooh, I don't think he ever had a winning one in Washington. He's played a total of, uh, he's, he's tied twice. We'll take those out. Between wins and losses, 211 total games. Okay, I'll go 80, so whatever that is, like 80 wins and 130 losses. Wow, you have no respect for the two-time Coach of the Year. 105 wins, 106 losses. Wow. I think Ron, is, he's got two more games left. You think he can <laughs> get positive before he gets the Who boot? they play this week, the Niners? <laughs> oh, God. What is the spread on that? Like 17 and a half? I think 13 and a half. That's it? That was... Purdy's going to cement himself. It could have changed week. with Jacoby coming in, but I, I feel like that would almost make it better. I don't think it matters. All right, take us away. All right, Jamal, take us away. This is our last ever for 20... What's up? Right here, between me and you. Look at me. <laughs> Look at me. For our 2024 Thursday night previews, what's a goal of ours? Bring on a player that plays on Thursday? Seems reasonable. What are you talking about? What is our goal? Is for bring, t- bring on a player on Wednesday that plays the next day? Yes. So it's probably going to be a game in New York. Stop on by Wednesday night. I got an idea. I know how we can make that happen. Next year, there's a Baltimore at New York. Exactly. Thursday night game. We get Lamar. I'm down. All right. You accept? And Rodgers. Oh, we get the QBs. And Gary V. You and me. <laughs> We're out of it. You, no, you, me, Aaron Rodgers, Lamar Jackson. I'm you down. think you would dominate? You think you'd win that meeting? No, I would be quiet. I would be literally You literally wouldn't say a fucking no, word. No, I would just, <laughs> <laughs> just laugh. Me and Rodgers would be get so high. No. What do you mean no? I think I'd get along with Rodgers good. He'd be like, what's wrong with you, man? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he's got a country accent. All right, take us away. What's wrong with you, brother? All right, take us away. All right, Thursday Night Preview is officially done for the season. I'm not upset. You're upset. Nick's upset. But I'm good. I'm happy with it because this means the playoffs are soon. The yeah. Super Bowl is soon. <laughs> Biggest, the, 
Big as the Super Bowl. Big as the what? Give us a like. Give us a sub. Give us some love. Sign up on Underdog with code BDGE to get that Joe Flacco free square one time and one time only. Hang. Peace. <sighs>Everybody clap it up. Everybody sitting behind your screen. Everybody walking on a treadmill. Walking your dog on the bench press. I don't hear shit. (laughs) Out of your headphones? No, I do, I think. This is our last episode. Really? There's no Thursday Night Football next week? None. Are you serious? Regardless, I ain't going to be here. No, there's not. They don't do Thursday. You ever heard of Zoom? (laughs) <laughs> you ever heard of Zoom calls? <laughs> they don't do Thursday on the last week. <laughs>